all right? And then I will share the session on YouTube. But you can make a note if you are not following us with um, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the processes. So let's start. Okay. Um, forgive me, intermittently I will pause to admit some people are, are still trying to enter the meeting, so I'll, I'll pause and put them through the meeting and stuff. So when I pause, just, uh, just pardon me. I'm sharing okay. my screen now. So um, you can put your video off. Let's let, just watch your screen and then we'll be fine. If you don't mind. <laughs> Okay, so I guess you can see my screen. Yes. Great. That's right. So, um, Imanolata is the name once again, and I am the coordinator for this session from Ramses Infotech Solutions. And Ramses Infotech Solutions is an IT company that does training and IT support for a number of organizations like Cisco, like Oracle, like Microsoft, like VMware, like Asaka. And it's an IT company that have their services in software and hardware and support mm -hmm. uh, institutions. So what we do is that we do training, we do support, we do services as a company, IT. But today we are looking at digital marketing. And definitely we can't talk about digital marketing without talking about the internet. And the internet apparently has to happen to be one of the big deals in our land today. Today, the internet happens to be the, own, the most es exciting commodity in our world today. But in what ways? Number one is that we have close to 4.5 billion people who are using the internet every day on a daily basis, but globally. If you put all of us together as a population of the world, we are having 59% of our population who are using the internet. So it is it is it is it is really a big deal to look at it in this way that year on year on year, we are actually adding 7% of our population on the internet from those who have not yet joined the internet fraternity. It's a good news for everybody who wants to do something online. So let's go to the next slide. This, that picture you see is a hot air balloon actually created by a company called Google. And Google has this architecture that is that will actually be put in a space and then will provide internet access to people with um, devices. So if you have devices like a phone or a tablet or a, a computer, like this in your hand, you can just connect to the device, uh, the balloon above your head, which will be in the space, and then connect to the internet for free. There are a number of projects that are going on globally trying to give internet, make internet as free as the way we are actually breathing air. And because of that, we are going to add about 2 billion human beings onto the internet in the next 10 years. In the next 10 years, we are going to have freshest. People who have not downloaded anything online, people who have not actually uh, uploaded anything online, who have not read anything on Facebook, who have not clicked anything on the internet, two billion of that number online. The question is that what can you sell to that people? Two billion people come online mm. in the next 10 years. That's, that's huge. Now, the next thing I want to also talk about is that there's a company called Facebook. It also has a number of things that they are doing. Facebook is doing a lot of projects that will allow many people to use the internet for free in the next 10 years. And apart from the project that is being done by Google, Facebook has a number of projects that are running that are exciting. One of them is what we call the internet.org, where they actually partner with local uh, telcos to run basic internet for Facebook users and stuff. In India, they were having issues, but it's another for another time. This is why I think that digital marketing, it's one of the huge things we have to discuss in this time of lockdown and COVID-19. Mm -hmm. The next thing is this. There's this guy called Elon Musk. Elon Musk is actually the CEO of a company called SpaceX. And SpaceX actually built a number of architecture in terms of um, putting satellite in the, in the space. And ab about a year or two ago, this company went to American government and they were requesting American government to give them the license to put 4,425 satellites 
into the space that will allow us to have high speed over internet and it's going to be better to be free that's his vision the question we're asking is that why are these people investing hugely to get internet for free like looking at the likes of google looking at the likes of facebook the likes of elon Musk, spacex why are people still trying to say that people should, we should not buy data to have internet we should just have internet for free why are they doing that the issue is that the more human beings are staying online, the more they will become richer because people online means it's a lot of money for this big, big boys. And once they are actually doing this work, it means that if you're a smaller company and you have a passion to also make money, you can leverage on this investment to make a lot of money. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Microsoft has a number of projects that they are doing. They are having a project on um, data centers, they are building a submarine data center. They have a server that sits under the earth. And, and it's, it's a very huge thing that giving people free, a lot of things are going to be free for us as, as we go along in our, our internet adventure. Okay, I will see some of the slides. Okay, so let's go Google. Google as a company um, is actually investing hugely into their uh, projects. They are actually Make it sure every human being should be online. Whether you are old, you are a child, you are middle age, you are adolescent, you have to be online. And what are they doing? Apart from doing the Google Project Loom, they have other projects they are running. And it's amazing. It's amazing how they are doing their business module. The business module is simple. Let's get many people to be online and let them serve the internet and let people share content and stuff like that. And as they do that, we Google make a lot of fortune. What are they doing? Google YouTube, Google searches, Google Maps, Google applications, all the products of Google, they are very amazing. Google invests close to $12 billion every year buying servers to host the many, many utilities they have. Why are they doing that? They are not running at a loss because your content on that platform is money to them. But that's not even the discussion for today. We are talking about digital marketing. One of the things we have to also understand is that today the internet is the most important commodity on earth that the people have need internet more than they need food or water. People want to internet to be on their phone more than they need food, and that's the reality that we are having today. Fundamentally, every day you look at your phone for more than 100 and, uh, 221 times on your phone every day. Like you search Facebook, Instagram, all of that, 221 times. And that's amazing. So it means that every nine minutes, your phone will be in your hand, you are looking at that phone. And this thing we have actually discussed in the last few minutes actually make, make our world a very interesting place. So let's look at this dynamics. How many people are in the world today? We have 7.7 .7 people who are living in this world today. Out of that number, we are asking the question, how many of them are having toothbrush in their house? Like every morning when they wake up, they use toothbrush. How many are they? They are just about, um, 3.5 billion people, okay? Not half of us. And how many people are having toilets? About 4.5 billion having toilets. But how many people have mobile phone? We have 8.9 billion people, which might more people having devices than people on it. It tells us that people are having three phones, two phones, five phones, six phones, one person. Mm. And that's why there are more devices in the world. So people are on, 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 on the internet and they are using devices a lot. Now, people are using the internet to learn today. We have what we call the Khan Academy, the MOOCs. We have the edX. These are all learning platforms that they are used for healthcare, for business, uh, for social expression, like bring back our girls on Twitter. So internet has become like a lifeline of all of us. And anything we want to talk about, whether in governance or in health or e-commerce or transportation, the internet is a huge concept that actually brings all of us together. So what am I saying? I'm saying this. The internet happens to the biggest marketplace in the world. That is the biggest market because that's where most human beings are aggregated or communicated. Most human beings are on this platform called the internet because that's where most sales are done, most buying and selling are done. So I'll come to the differences between them. So let's look at this guy. These guys are the richest men in the world, globally. We are looking at Bill Gates, Carlos Slim, we are looking at Mark Zuckerberg, we are looking at Max, we are looking at more of them. And these guys have something similar around all of them. I want, to, I want to just talk about it. In Africa, we have Dangote and others who are here who are making a lot of fortune. But what is common about this rich people? The common denominator among all of them is that they are all selling. They are selling. All the billionaires in the world, they are selling. They are not motivational speakers. 
they have something in their hand. Either they are selling a product or they are selling a service. You have to be, you have to be selling to make money. If you are not selling, forget about making money. So if you want to be rich, you have to be, have the capacity to sell. And that is why digital marketing is huge in our time. So the, the concept that we normally talk about when we're looking at university, we're looking at uh, if a lecture you want to actually survive in the university fraternity, you want to get promotion, they tell you to publish. So in the, we say something like, you either publish or you perish. So when we are not writing books, publishing articles and, um, and, and, and all of that, what will happen is that you will just uh, be taken off. You, you, will, you will not survive. The same way, when we come to our industry, where people are trying to make money outside the university regime, you have to now be able to sell or you die. You die, you die, you die, you actually have your business. Actually, if you have a product that nobody is buying, you are going to die as a business. So you have to sell. Now, number, number, the last thing I want to say before I come to my practical session is that people are naturally good with what they do. People are naturally good. So we have, we have journalists, we have doctors, we have all of that. They are doing very well. Okay, let me put the microphone so that. So we have all of them who are doing a lot of things for in their career, and they are very good. But very few in this world are very great when it comes to selling. And what is selling is not a very easy task for many people. Many people cannot sell. Like, so this is how it works. So we have all this career path: doctors, bookmakers, lawyers, real estate, whatever. They are very good, but they can't leave their job to come and sell. That's why I think that if you are even a young person on this platform and you don't have a business, considering digital marketing is huge, okay? Uh, somebody is still talking at the background. Please mute your microphone. Uh, if I mute you, please don't bring it back, okay? Please, so that we can flow. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, if you're a young person, you think that you don't have a job, okay? You are, and you are, you are actually hustling. All these people, the hospitals in Ghana, the new company that are coming up, people are actually baking, people are actually doing hairdressing and stuff. They need to be online to be able to sell. And you can be able to learn this thing, this strategy, and be able to help them sell, and you can make money out of that. They won't, they won't have time to go and sell. But you can sell for them, and that's what we want to do. So let's start about what we want to do today. You know, we're talking about digital marketing. What is digital marketing? And when I normally ask this question to my student, I will hear answers like, "Digital marketing is about selling online or selling on the internet." It's not correct. If you, if selling on the internet is just one aspect of digital marketing, digital marketing has everything to do with selling product with a digital device or digital instrument. Okay. So if I put my data on pen drive and I give the pen drive to you for free, it's digital marketing. Okay, if I put my stuff on CD and I give it to you to go and watch a movie on the CD, and on the movie there's an advert of my company on it. Digital. So you can have a lot of things that are digital, which may not be online. We are friends, right? So let's go to the next one. So the digital marketing is the art of promoting product or service with the help of digital device or technology. So that's about it. Now, my my, what I'm going to help you to do is this. Everybody who wants to go into digital marketing program, whether you have a, you are a business owner or you are trying to actually sell yourself as a blogger or you are trying to do content marketing, there are, there's one thing you have to actually bear in mind. The first you have to bear in mind that what can you define what you want to offer to the people you are going to sell to them. And I know most people have done digital marketing, they've got frustrated and they say, this thing is not working. I, I, I was actually speaking at a one guy who get that. I said, boss, all the things you are talking about, they didn't work at all because I've tried, it's not working for me. And a lot of you are here, you are having the same experience that the thing you have tried is not working. But it's that if, if you don't know how to do it, you can do it forever. It won't work for you, okay? And then I think that the first thing you have to do in your quest is understand that you have to get your website or your blog in the first place. Don't start your business on social media, like go to Facebook and go to open an account, and go and go and open an account. You start with your website because the issue is that all the social media platforms that you are going to be on belongs to somebody. You sign a license agreement that says, for example, that 
anytime the vendor, the person who owns the thing, decides, okay, I'm going to take you off. You don't have any excuse. He take you off. Or anytime they decide that anything you put on the bar, I won't let anybody see it. You have no, you can't challenge the person because in a nice agreement, you sign it. All right. So what do we do? Have you observed that sometimes you'll be there, somebody say, oh, uh, you watch TV. The person come and do a nice work and they say, okay, can you give us your handle on Twitter, your Facebook, your Facebook, whatever. And the person say, uh, my company is called GH Clothing. Uh, if you go on Twitter, I'm called Clothing GH. If you go to Facebook, I'm called uh, Clothing 1234. If you go to Instagram, I'm called uh, Super or Real GH Clothing. No, you see those things saying that. And the challenge that is that people start uh, doing that. Uh, they go on Facebook and go and open an account. They don't actually check whether the name they want to use in the face is available in all the platforms. So for me, I can tell you, okay, go to all the social media platforms and you can find Ramses GH, whether on Facebook, whether on Twitter, whether on Instagram, anywhere you go to Ramses GH. So it helps the consistency with your customers. That anytime they think about one handle, they can go to any of your platform and they can find it. How do you do that? So let's start. Number one thing you can do is that you can actually start by going locking your handle, okay? And how do you lock your handle? You go to, so, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Who is there? Yes. Yeah, you can, can see. You can see okay. So you go to a platform called Name Checker. Okay, Name Checker is a very um, simple platform like where I've gone to. Can you see? Okay, the screen. So let's assume that I'm here. I say I want to actually run a company called G Clothing. I want to find out if I can have this GH Clothing on all the other platforms. So I go and, and actually type GH Clothing. Okay, and then I search for it. So when I search for it, in this part, I'm told that if I want to have ghclothing.com, I won't have it because somebody has taken it already. If I want to have ghclothing.net, I won't have it. Somebody has taken it already. If I want to have GH clothing on Facebook, it's not available on Facebook, but it's available on Twitter. It's available on Tumblr, okay? It's available on MySpace. Okay, so all the social media platforms that I may want to go into, they are all here, and it's available, and it's not available. All right? So I, I, I decided, okay, if, if I want to stay have a .com, then I have to change it from here. So I can just go and say, okay, clothing GH, and I think it won't, it won't work. So I think clothing Ghana, and I, I try it again. And for this one, I was lucky because I was able to get .com available, .net available, Facebook is available, Twitter is not available. So you can actually play around it and get a name that almost all the Jamie media platform are saying that it's available before you start the whole thing. And if you do that, you actually build a consistency in terms of your brand awareness. When you actually do your brand awareness, people now can actually relate with you from any other platforms. And it's good for you to do this first. Are we good? And if you are not going to do that and you will start anyway, you will get to a point that you realize that the whole thing is haphazard. You're having different names from different ports, and it's not very good for your digital marketing architecture. And that's the reason some of you are not getting it. Now, number two is that we are going to actually create a very simple blog or a website. And after which we will actually link the website to a platform called Analytics before we go on to other things. So let's start with that. So I go to a platform here called GoDaddy. So go there if you, have the, if you can go with us. GoDaddy. Okay. Now, GoDaddy is helping me to just create a simple website. So I'm just going to create a website in the next five minutes. So I go to sign in. Or if I don't have an account, I, I can go to um, sign up. Then I want to sign in with my uh, Gmail account. Okay. So I let me look for another account and let me sign in with some account. Okay. Um, please, um, who is who signed this up? Somebody want to talk? Somebody want to ask a question? Yes. Um, what's the name of the website again? Is it GoDaddy? GoDaddy. GoDaddy. Go GoDaddy. Go yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. GoDaddy. So GoDaddy, I sign in. I sign in with GoDaddy, and then I can just sign in, and I'm there. When I go to GoDaddy, the platform comes like this. Now, if you look at this, this, this website, I can just come down here. 
down, 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 down. Then I will see under the shopping, there's a website. So I click on it. When I click on the website, they brought me here. They said that I can create a free website. So I can create a free website. Please, are you following? So, please, are you following? Hello. Are you following? Sorry, please. Please, can you start again? I went to GoDaddy, but I'm not getting what you are getting. Okay, now. so what I'm saying is that. Can you start again? Mm. Okay, so I'm saying that you go to GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Yeah, GoDaddy.com. Then, to make it very simple, you can just go down, 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 down to the base of the website. And then you see shopping. And I show me a domain, website. So click, click on the website. Okay. okay. When you click on the website, you will see that there is something you call start for free. So you start. All right. And then I, here I have a website. So I'll just go and say I'm, I'm creating a new website. I want to create a website on clothing and apparel store. So I'll create it. I, I want to sell clothes. All right. And then I go to next. Which one? So my, one, right. my website is called GH Clothing. Okay. Mm. Any challenge? Any I challenge? I don't know if we are. Uh, I'm, I'm not following. I don't know if that is. Okay. Following. So what you can do is that just know, can you know the steps now so that when I send a video, so you can follow it. Okay. Okay. Do that for me so that we can we can go. We can move forward. We have only two hours to go. Yes, sir. Please, I think you have to mute everybody's microphone because I there's some background noise. Yeah, I mute it and they still go back to open. I don't know why. <laughs> because sometimes I need I need to get up some response from you, and I'm trying to do that. But so please, uh, if if there's a noise at the background, please mute it for me. Okay, I beg you. All right, that's fine. So I think the microphones can be on. It should be interactive, so, but just that we should we should observe some decorum when then. Yeah. So when you, if you don't want to ask a question, just put the microphone off. If you want to ask a question, you can put it on. Okay. Yeah. That will help us. Okay. Thank you. So I, I I was here. I was saying that yeah. now GH Clothing is the name of the words I want to create. So I go to the next. I'm creating a sample. Sorry, oh, sorry. Can you can you start again so that we note the the procedure down? I mean, rather than. Following okay. 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 The so, okay, let me, let so me just he says, Hello. He says he will send the videos. So why don't we just go according to it? When he sends the videos, then we'll be able to <laughs> so that will also make it faster. Otherwise, we can't do a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, our lady. Our lady. Yes, I'm here. The name is what? Anastella. Okay, Anna. Anna, so let's continue so that maybe I'll send a video for you to actually look at it. Okay. Okay, all right. All right so I came to start a website, and then I said I was creating, I was creating a, a company called uh, GH. Um, so okay, let me start a new one. So I'm starting a new website, and then I have this site here. So I come here to create GH clothing. Okay. Please, it's clothing G, clothing Ghana, it's clothing Ghana. Okay, so GS clothing or something. Okay, so um, I count with GS clothing or something, then I go to Nest. Okay, now when I go to Nest, they, they give me a template for the website. So if I want, I don't want this style of, then I can just edit anything I can edit. So that's why I say clothing to fit your lifestyle. If I want to change it, I can come and take anything. Good clothing, something. I can just write anything and change it. Good, good dresses for you or something. I can do anything. And then I can change the entire website. Like I can, I can change this picture. I can, when I come down, I can change all the pictures down. I can add my social here. I can add my Facebook, Pinterest, all of that. I can change it and put my link inside there. And I was, but I guess I'm into the teams, okay? And then everything works here. If I'm okay with the website, I go here and I publish it. I publish the website. Now, this is a website that I've actually created in, the, in the less than three minutes. And then I go to view the website. Okay, so this is a beautiful website. GH Clothing is a site I've created now. You can shop on my website. So this is a very simple thing within five minutes. It's free. And it's free for one month. So you can just create it and then edit it and it's a website. 
And then if you have money, you can just migrate and host it and all of that. But this is free. And it's a good website. It's nice. Now, the next thing I want to also say is that before I go into anything, I want to say is that websites are not for fun. Anybody who creates a website must have visitor based on the website, and then he has to make money from the website he creates. But the question is that if people are going on your website, how will you know people are going there? If they are not going there, how will you know people are not going there? That's a big question. And because most people are, monitoring, are not monitoring what is happening on their website, they will be there and then they get tired because the website, nobody is calling them for, nobody is calling them that I've seen your website, nobody is going to their website, and they don't know whether people are going there or not. So, how do you know it? So, you have another tool called Google Analytics. Google Analytics. Okay. So, googleanalytics.com. Okay. Give you that tool. It's also free. Okay. I'm pointing to a lot of free tools. And then you can also use them for free. And Google Analytics actually help you to then set your web, link your website to this platform. This allows you to, uh, as it were, measure the people that are coming to your website all the time. So what do I do? Let me sign in with an account. So I come in and I sign in. Um, I want to add an account. So maybe let me use a, a different account. Uh, give me a minute, sorry. So once I sign in like this, okay, this is a fresh account that I've created with Google Analytics. Please note it. Now, once I create this account, what I do is that I start doing, I say set up for free, so I set it up. Now, I come here, what is the name of my company? My company is called GH Clothing. So I go and put GH Clothing there. So I'm setting Google Analytics up so that I can measure what is happening on my website. So I go to GH Clothing. And then I go down and go and click Next. I'm setting up, so it's a web base, so I, I go web, and then I go, um, the name of the website is called GH Clothing. Okay. Now, once I've done GH Clothing, I come to, they say I should put my the website. So I come to where I publish a website. Okay, this is the website. So I come and copy this, the top here, the URL. When I copy it, I come and paste it inside this. When I paste it inside, I create the HTTPS. I come and paste it inside. I come and inside. I go to the name. Okay. Okay. So I come and put it in there, and then I select my area. I'm into beauty. Okay. And then I go to Ghana. I select Ghana. I'm in Ghana. So then I go to create. Once I go to create, I accept the license agreement, and then I accept. Now, automatically, what I've done is that I've actually linked. I'm trying to link this my website I've created now right now to a platform called Google Analytics for me to be able to measure the activity on that website. If you don't know that what is happening on a website, you can't do so many things to even get benefit from the website. So once I did that, they gave me a code here. There's a code here. It's called UA165, that order. I'll copy this code, this, just this code, and I'm going to put it inside my website so that uh, the good, uh, uh, Google Analytics will be able to tr track my website. So I come to the website where I was doing the editing, okay? And I come to settings. When I come to that, I go down, and I'll see inside what I call GoDaddy. And I put it here, GoDaddy. Uh, sorry, Google Analytics, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> okay, Google Analytics. That's tapping. Who is there? Okay, so when I see the Google Analytics ID, I put the ID inside, okay? Then I will publish it. Once I publish, it means that my website is linked to the Google Analytics. That's number one tool you have to use. So I publish it again. And then I go to Google Analytics. So when I go to look at I'm going to measure what is happening on my website. But look at this. There are four different things I can measure. I can measure in real time what is happening on my website. I can measure the audience, those who are coming to us, and the activity. Okay, so when I come to, and I can measure acquisition, I'll talk about it. I can measure the behavior of my, and I can measure conversion. I will explain that one in a minute. That's when I take real time. Real time to talk about those who are currently on my website. So this is a new website. So well, let me go to real time now. What, how many people are on my website now as I'm talking to you now? They say one person. Who is that person? It's me. This is me because me, I'm opening a website here. And see, I'm going to put this website, okay, into the chat console right now. 
And I want everybody there to just, um, just open the website. And let me, let's see what will happen in real time, okay? What will happen in real time, um, um, what will happen right now on the, on the Google Analytics, the, the activities that will okay. happen. So let's start. So okay. we are now only one person that is there. So let's start doing it. If you have seen it, just tap it and start going. Click about, uh, click, click, just click, 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 play with it. So I have number two, I have number three, three people are there. Uh, one person is using um, uh, desktop, two people are using mobile phones. Let's go on, let's go on. I'm going to give you some insight. Yes. Go on. Yeah, so just be, just be doing it. Everybody do it. And then when yes, you are there. So I have seven people. I want 20 people to be there. Yes, seven people. More, more people, please. So I have 11. Now. Yes, I've seen the numbers changing. Uh, 3, yeah, so 7, 9, 4. In real time, in real time, real whatever time. the yes. website is happening here. So it is very good too, because then it actually gives you actually the confidence as a business person. That what people are going to watch that. I need six more people. Just be clear. And those who are there, please don't leave there. Just play with the platform. Just go on about us, go and look at addresses, open contact us, do anything, do anything, open social media, just play, play. And I want more people to okay. enter. I want people to enter. So our fifty percent of people who are actually oh. using mobile phones and are oh. using desktop. Very interesting. So go on, I'll show you a lot of things from this platform. Now two more, two more, two more, let's go. Two more, two more people. I want you to do that for me. So Okay, 920. Yeah, that's Hello. good. You can join if you want to. Now, I have 20 people who have joined my website right now. This is good because I know some of, some of you here might have websites that you don't even know who, who has gone there and what it is. Please mute your mics. And all of you. Hello. Yeah, I'm muting them. I'm muting them. Okay, so you don't know who went there and what they went there to do and all of that. That's That's very interesting. So... This is one of the things that will help you. But let's look at other parameters, other things that are happening on the website. Now, if you look at this chart, you realize that per second, people were entering as fast. Look at the way the, the, uh, the, that's the heartbeat, where the, the heartbeat of the architecture. Now, if you look at this page, they have something called page view. And what does it mean? What does it mean? That how many pages are people viewing? So in the last 26 minutes, nobody was there. It was zero, zero. Zero, zero. In the last 12 minutes, how many people are there? That kind of thing. So as we are looking at it, then as we are actually last six minutes, how many people were there? There were 17 people were viewing. How many pages were viewed? 17 pages were viewed because seven people were in there. And it went to 36 and, all of, and it now coming down, okay? This is an insight. It helps you to also know that people are actually viewing which pages are they viewing, okay, and all of that. Now let's look at the second thing, location. Now, location is talking about where are they actually connecting from. So those who are coming to your website, where are they coming from? All of you are coming from Ghana. <laughs> All the 21 of you actually entered the platform, they are coming from Ghana. So if I look at the website, global website here, I can actually zoom Ghana and then look at what is happening. So I zoom it and I can see Ghana map here. All of you are in Accra. All of you are in Accra. So if some of you in Kumasi or whatever, it also tell me that some people are coming from Kumasi, from the north, from Tema, everywhere. So if your business is in Accra, but you want people to see it in Tema, and your website is saying that people are not people in Tema are not going to your website, then you have to know how to what to do. You, you understand? Now, sorry. And another thing I want to also talk about is that I want to talk about the traffic source. Where are the people coming from? Are they using? So at this stage, we are having two main two main. That there's something called direct. Direct means that people go to the search engine and type the word www.ghclothing.com. They were 96% of people. The rest were referral. Referral means that somebody actually gave them the portal on that plan, they click on it and came. That is how this thing is. But this one will not give us a lot of insight because it's a new website. Okay, so that's, I'm just trying to let you understand how it is. Let's go to content. Now, about the content. <laughs> They are saying that for all the 23 people who have actually come to the website, as I'm talking to you now, 17 of them actually went to the home page and then they go, they went back, they didn't go anywhere. Only three, uh, three people went to other places like going to about us and contact us. Only three people did that. Okay. Although I told you to go around about us, only two people going to about us. The rest of you just went to the home page or the landing page. You didn't do any other thing, you went back. 
So if this thing is happening to you as a digital marketer, what it tells you is that your page has a problem. People are not excited staying on your page. Are we good? So that's another insight you can ask people with. Okay, let's go to event. Let's go. Conversion will be a bit uh, a bit of a complex thing. Like a bema, uh, I will leave that one conversion now, and then we'll come back to it. Because when we talk about conversion, okay, it's about setting up your goals. So when I, when uh, when you look at a church, when a church say, okay, we are converted souls, what does it mean? It means that we as a church believe that if somebody raises and say, I accept Jesus as my savior and Lord, then the person is converted. Okay. <laughs> So the church has what we call a goal or a standard. And today, you can say it will be a converter. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> when we say somebody is converted, uh, it means that there is a goal the digital marketer has set that if somebody comes there and click on this link and download an app or download something or fill a form, that, that person has converted. Now, because the reason they are saying they're converted at zero here is we don't have any objective. That's what people do when they go to our website. So we don't have anything. Then I come to audience. Are you there? Oh, who, is, who is disturbing us? Yeah. Please off your mics. Oh. <laughs> uh, so please, if the mics are off, if I'm not going to ask a question, please off it for me. I beg you. Please. Thank you very much. So let's look at this one. Now, if you look at this part, we have audience. And look at audience overview. Audience means those who are those who are active on your platform. Look at this one. So look at this. One. We are already we have zero 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 here. But don't worry, it's because it's a new website. Okay, that's why it's like that. So you come to what this time lot and actually allocate what you are measuring. Today is Saturday. Saturday was ninth, right? And we have applied. So as of today, what has happened is that. Forgive me, I'm adding more people, so that's why. What has happened is that, as of today, we have users, and it's zero. Who are users? Users are those who are coming to the website regularly, okay? New users are those who, who are actually coming to the website for the first time. Session means that people who come to the website, when you come to a website and then you, you actually leave your screen to go blank, it's a session. The website go to sleep. And when you come back, it's another session. So you can have one human being can have about 10 different sessions on your website. The number of sessions per user, every person that comes on the website, how many times do they come to and the, the, the website actually you take actually your IP address so they will know that this same, the same laptop came to your website like five, five times or six times within a day. So they can actually report to you. How many pages were viewed by your people? Okay, how many pages were viewed? So when somebody comes to the website, how many pages will the person view? Will the person view the home page? Would they go to about us? They go to services. They went to this. They went to that. Would they, they, how many pages would they view on average? You have to know. I'm saying this because I will actually come back to talk about it when I'm, I'm doing the search engine optimization. I'll come back to that one. Then what about page session? Page session talk about if the person come to the page uh, session one, how many pages would the person watch before they look good? And we were, we were, somebody's asking, why well, is it important? It is. It is important because I'll come to talk about why they are very important. Then this one, one of the things that I like so much is about bounce rate. Bounce rate is like, uh, almost it will be a bouncy. I just said, you just enter the website and you just bounce back. Okay. So um, I have a website, somebody comes to the website, open the, the video video at ramps.com and you see the website, then you close the website. It's called a bounce rate. And so what it means is that the person doesn't like what he's seeing. So the more numbers you have, if the person said, they, they say that, 50% of the people that came to our website bounce. Or when they see the last, when they came to the landing page, they bounce. What it means is that for every 10 people that came to your website, five of them didn't stay. Sometimes you can have even 90% of people that came to your website didn't stay. Like after the first minute, they went back. When it happened like that, you'll be punished by Google. And I'll talk about how you are punished. I'll tell you how you are punished. Then average session duration. What it means is that if people come there and within Two seconds, they leave. Two seconds, they leave. Two seconds, they leave. we put on the, on the average. They all spend like two seconds, five seconds, six seconds. It also is a problem because people should stay longer on your website for your website to perform. Are we good? Okay. So the rest, I will just walk you through. So we talk about, let me talk through some of it. Otherwise, I will waste all my time here. I have a lot of things to talk about. So I'll talk about geography. I'll talk about the language people are actually using to visit the website. And here we are talking about primary, we are talking about English. We are using English basically to access websites. We talk about the mobile devices that people are using, users. 
they are using um, user versus this I think ultimate. So let's talk about devices they are using. Sorry, devices. So if they are using Android device, they are using iPhone, they are using whatever. You have them here. They will talk about it. And then if they are also um, let me talk about benchmarking. Okay, let, okay, let's talk about acquisition. Uh, let me talk about user first. Because this is this is a two-hour class, so I can't really go into all of them. Otherwise, I will I will waste all my time on this one. So let me touch and go. Now, uh, hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Yeah, please. How do we get the videos? Because I'm not getting it clear. Okay, so I'll, I'll send a video to you. I'll send. I'll upload it by Monday and put to, put put it to your mail. Okay. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Please, can I get your number so that I come one on one so that we no, we'll, we'll talk about this after the end of the after the end of the session. Okay, so let's let's go. On. I'll give you. Okay, so hold on. All right. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the behavior of the of the, the people that came to your website. How wh why were they behaving? So let's look at this. They came to the website and then they 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 behaved in a way. So you can view how they moved. Some of them moved from first page, they went to this page, they went to events and all of that. You should be able to know if this website, for example, has a lot of, if like it has existed for a long time, then we can have a lot of data that will give us insights. And no matter what I do with my classes, that I give this project for them for three weeks. So you, you help your friends come on it for three weeks and we can do the, and it's exciting. You can see so many interesting things that you can see on the website and all of that. So that's what I will do for the analytics. I hope it was good, right? Do you, do you like the session? Yes, that is yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the next session. The next session is talking yeah. about um, after you have actually logged your thing, you have actually created a website, you have actually done the log, log of your name and all of that, you have to now look at the benefits Hello. of digital marketing, okay? Hello. Uh, good morning. I have yes, a sir. question. I have a question. Yes, sir. Yeah, actually, I have the Google uh, Analytics. Okay, uh, it can't fetch all my traffic from my site. Hope you understand my question. Why? What? What was the problem? Why you can't, can't it fetch? You can't connect your website to the Google Analytics, right? No, I have done that, but it can't fetch all the traffic. From no, my it site. means that you have not connected. It is connected. No. Okay. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. All if right. I come here, if I come to what I was doing here, okay, whatever, I, can you see my screen? The questioner, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, the person was asking, I want the person to get, get me attention, I can teach him what, what he can. Hello, uh, Hello I, can, I, can, I can see your screen. Yeah, okay, I can see my screen. Now, so yeah. when I come here and I'm actually fetching, and for example, um, I look up here. Uh, okay, all of you have left here. Eh? Let me see. Yeah. We have all left. Okay, don't worry. So, if yeah, I'm, we are, I, I, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, some of us are with you. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, those on the website. Those on the website are on. Yeah, they have all left me. Don't worry. It's okay. Yeah. Let me check something. Okay, so let's assume that I come here and I'm measuring something like uh, audience. Okay, and I come to over me. What most people don't do is that they don't come to actually set the time. Look at the date here. So what duration are you actually actually getting the data from? Sometimes your time here is actually a different date. So I so only go check it. Check that if this. Okay, so um, can I can I share my screen too? Uh, unless unless I give you the permission. You want to do what? You want me to see what you have done? Uh, Okay, so what we can do is that let me. I think let me since he's going to share the video later, I think we can just follow and then later we follow. He shares yeah, so the what video. I'm, what I'm going to do is that what I'm going to do is that I will give you time to ask me this question at the end of the session. Then I will see if I have time. I will take you through it. Okay, if I don't have to, I will let you book up and then we'll do it another time like in a different session. Okay. All right. All right. I think I think that will be better. Okay. That's, thank you. Thank you. So let's go. So we have. Um, benefit of digital marketing, and we said that it's versatile, it actually has instant communication in a number of ways. And this is our theory, so because I'm going to give you a slide to you, I'll, I'll Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. 
please um i want to connect um a brother to to join he says he wants a password it's no so you can give it to the one you the one i gave you give it the same thing to you, you can come. actually when i logged in i didn't keep the password in mind uh so what do i do zero one two zero one two okay yes. yeah okay. um <laughs> zero one two let, let, let me check it for you zero one two okay zero one two nine seven yeah nine seven five all right thank yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Can I go on? Yeah. Minimum money now. Minimum. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's go. On. So the digital marketing course that you want to do and has seven main modules. People can have it ten. For me, I think that all of them will come under the seven main blocks. Okay. Social media marketing is just one of the seven. One. Social media marketing is not digital marketing. Social media marketing is one of the components or one of the modules of the digital market. So the main issue is that we are what we call inbound and outbound marketing. And I'm saying this again. Let me tell you. We have two types of marketing and the, and the camera grow. Inbound and outbound marketing. Inbound marketing actually talks about the fact that you actually get yourself ready for people to look for you. That's the inbound. They come looking for you. The outbound marketing is that you go out there. Lawyer. Yes, sir. Do you? Go, lawyer. Do you want Who is? Okay, then I'll meet you. I'll meet you. I'll meet you. Let's go. So, so the outbound, outbound marketing actually talks about that you go out there and look for people. What does it mean that like, anything you are doing in the outbound marketing, you are interacting with people. So, for example, you are just on your Facebook, you are surfing and talking with your friends and having fun and watching YouTube videos. And that's what it, why you go, nobody go to Facebook and buy dresses. So you are there, you are just actually selling them all of a sudden, boom. And like somebody came and said, I saw food juice. I saw ice cream too, for example. <laughs> okay, then you are interrupted. So we use outbound marketing to interrupt people. And what it means is that those kind of marketing are done on the social media platform. What it means that people are doing their own thing and you just go and interrupt them. And when it comes to inbound marketing, like Google searches, people who come to Google, they don't come to play. They come to look for something. So, for example, I go to Google and I say, for example, I want to buy a car. It means that I have interest. I have interest in buying a car. So, those who are coming to Google to search, they have 99% probability of buying the service than those who will see on social media. Are you aware? Okay, so that's about it. So that's what I'm saying that if you are doing digital marketing, you're not doing SEO. If you're not doing, you're not doing SCM, you are just wasting out of your resources because that's also another big area too. All those things are simple as social media, but if you get proper training, you can do that. And it's one, one thing that can make you very comfortable with digital marketing. So what is the meaning of SEO? SEO is three words. It's three letter words. And I'm, I'm wishing for a, a concept called search engine optimization. Okay? Search engine optimization what does it mean search engine optimization is sorry sorry let me admit somebody is all the processes that you as a content developer or as a marketer or somebody who want to sell actually uses to be able to get yourself on the ranking of the google page so let's assume that i go to um, google.com and then I want to search for maybe um, somebody should give me something to search for. What should I search for? East Life Ghana. What? East Life Ghana. Ghana, East Life Ghana. <laughs> Take your time. What should I search? East Life Ghana. What is it? Uh, what? East Life Ghana. Ghana. No, no, I want a service. I want to buy a service, not a company. I want a service. Samsung Shop. Okay, so Samsung Shop. Okay, maybe. Let me do Samsung phones. Okay. Let's go there, Samsung phones. Okay, so Samsung phones. That, so when I want to buy Samsung phone, I go on. And now, when I want a Samsung phone, Google is telling me that I have indexed close to 2 billion, 2.2 billion web pages containing keyword called Samsung phones. Okay. That's what, what is it by that? So within the last 70 seconds, 
Google has actually brought together 2.2 billion web pages that are also trying to sell to me Samsung devices or blog about something about Samsung. Now, Google then actually put all of them together and start ranking them. So if you, I'll come and talk about this box. Okay, but let me talk about the fact from here. Now, Samsung.com. The company that gets first rank is Samsung company itself, Samsung.com, number one. Then number two is GSMAR and whatever, that company. And they have videos and all of that. The question is that, how should Google be able to now put all this 2.2 billion website together and then take, rank them according to the order of preference. One, two, three, four. How will it do that? So there are three objectives that are actually, um, three roles that we all play. The three play, roles that are played are played by three key people. That three people are this. Number one is that the customer who is searching, that's why we have the S, we is search. The engine, which is Google platform. So the person who's searching will go ahead, will go to Google algorithm, and Google will now allow the person to search for Samsung phones. The last one is optimization. Optimization is actually done by the content developer or the person who's actually trying to sell the phones to you. Now, the question is that much of the work must be done by the person who's trying to do the optimization. What is the thing that you can do to make Google happy to bring your company to number one or number two? Or number three, without paying any money to Google. What it means is that this can expose your companies to millions of people within a month and you will not pay any money to Google. What and the issue is that how can you be able to make it to this place? And that's what we call the search engine optimization. So it's a, it's a full training, a bouquet of, I don't know if you have to do to be able to rank yourself here. So if I, if I look at this, for example, I see that we have 2.2 billion, but if I say, Samsung phones, uh, let's say buy. So I want to buy this, I'm serious, I want to buy. Samsung phones in, in Accra. Okay, buy Samsung phone in Accra. So if I do it like that, I realize that the, the, the search has just reduced to just about 942,000 only. <laughs> okay, so, and the rank has changed. Now we have Jumia number one. But Jumia will, will never be run if I just type Samsung phones because Jumia cannot stand that competition. Okay, so that's that's what you have to bear in mind. That's all about search engine optimization. But I will go into that in a bit. Okay, not too much. I'll go into it in a bit. The second one is what we call the search engine marketing. I want to talk about it. So we have SEO and SEM. The search engine marketing. Uh, also, let me let me use example to explain. I, I like example. So, okay, somebody should just tell me something. Okay, uh, let's talk about digital marketing agencies in the world. Digital marketing agencies, not in Ghana, but digital marketing agencies. Okay, I didn't get it. Somebody should give me something. Give me an idea. What again can yes, you? Uh, I have my own digital marketing agency. No, no. Give me something travel to travel agency. Travel agency. Traveling agencies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, traveling agencies. I said I didn't get it. Somebody should help me. I want to teach you something. Give me another thing, please. Hurry up. Online university. <laughs> Online what? University. Online what? University. university. What? Use car. Use car. Use car selling. Use car sales. Used car sales. Okay, that, that's good. Uh, oh boy. Uh, okay, so let, let me ask this question about the search engine optimization. Ask a question. Yeah, about the search engine optimization. Does this work including locations too? Because I think if you go outside Ghana and you search for Jumia or mm -hmm. buy for uh, Samsung phones, I don't think you let, get let, let your voice go up a bit. I can answer your question for you. Don't worry. Let your, uh, I, um, let your uh, go up a bit for me. Your voice. All your right. Voice. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's that? 
I was saying is, does the search engine optimization waste with location fee? Because uh, if you are outside Ghana and you search buy Samsung phones, I don't think uh, Jumia will be ranked first. I think we might have. Yeah, that's I'm saying that when I search, mm -hmm. when I said the global, I said I buy uh, Samsung phones, and I didn't even see any Ghana company rank. Okay, although I'm searching from Ghana, but when I added buy Samsung phone in Accra, then Jumia got to rank. Why? Because Jumia's optimization is strong locally in Ghana, and I'll give you the reason why. The second thing is that the server that are actually actually um, indexing this platforms are, is not the same server. Okay, and um, when you actually ping the website, like I'm actually calling for this particular thing, the, the actually the, the routing is done among multiple servers, and a lot of things come to play. But it's, it's similar, but it's maybe the same. That's why if you can sit by me. And we can search for the same thing. We can't get, can get the same response. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. All right. So, okay, so what I was trying to do is this. Okay, I was trying to do. I want to get. So let, let me go ahead. So what I was trying to do is very simple. I was trying to do um, something like this. If you look at this, this match, where is that? Ship what you love from. So online shipping. The, on this one, you see that there's an ad attached to this particular um, ranking, www.myus.com. My, my you see that there's AD attached yeah. to it. Okay, that is, that, is, that, is the, that, is the, that is search engine marketing. What it means is that a guy is, this company is saying that, for me, I can't compete with over 6 billion people here, okay, but I can just pay you Google and then put me on number one so everybody will see me. And when you do that, we have what we call the PPC and PPI. PPC means that pay per click, and PPI means pay per impression. If anybody click on this link, then the money that person has paid to Google will be deducted. It will be deducted the money, the money gets finished, and the Google will take it from here. Okay, so search engine marketing is when a person pay Google to get around. Search engine optimization, which is the first one we discussed, you don't pay anything, but you have to compete to get to the rank, to get a ranking value. Are we good? My are, you, go. are you good? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, we are good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's go. So what, what has happened is that when you come to this particular platform, we have search engine optimization, search engine marketing, email marketing, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, content marketing, mobile marketing. Now, Blogging and code, they will all fall under content marketing. And then we have other things that will fall under mobile marketing and all that. App development and stuff will fall under. So let's go, let me skip them quickly and go to other things that will be exciting. Email marketing. Email marketing is very interesting. Email marketing is one of the beautiful things you can do, but most people are not doing it. So if you come to my channel, I will teach you that one. Okay, so awareness. This is what you do as a company. Companies are actually looking at three things, uh, four things. You have to create awareness first. You have to allow the customer to consider buying it. And then they allow the customer to buy it. And after they bought it, what do you do? So at any stage in your process of selling or trying to market your product, these are the things you have to look at. I have another diagram that allows you to go to our seven stages, but these are the, comp uh, the, the compressed ones. The stage number one is awareness. And if you have a product, you are new on social media, what other, what out of this, this thing we talked about, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which one must you first use it? When, for example, you want to actually create awareness. Okay? If you want to create awareness, which one must you start using? So I am at awareness stage. Awareness, uh, I have to ask myself a lot of questions at the awareness stage. That I want to sell pencils. I want to sell sobolo. I want to sell dresses, I want to sell wedding gowns. What does my product offer? Why does customer need my product? What solution does my product offer? So what other, what can I do with Mr. Gitarato? So when I come, I have my priorities. My priorities are that for the high priority, I'm looking at SEO, SCM, SMM, affiliate and content. So these are the four digital marketing platforms I will use when I want to create awareness about my product. Why am I using search engine optimization? Because Google will help me 
people will help me to be seen by many people who don't know about me. And I know that most of you on this platform, you are actually in love with a company that you saw by just Googling. And the company came up and you click, and you now you love the company. You went to YouTube and then you watch a video, and you are not following the person on YouTube. You didn't know the person, but the person used those platforms to get in touch with you. In the I know that about content marketing is also that you can start actually writing about a service like uh, maybe we are doing bodybuilding. We are selling food for bodybuilders, the protein for bodybuilders. You can start doing YouTube videos. That's what we call content marketing. So every morning you take one of the samples, supplement and say, this supplement is called XYZ supplement. When you drink it, it will make your uh, ABS come, open your three, uh, uh, six pack in the next three months. You do all those demonstrations. It's content marketing. You are just talking about a brand. And when you finish, say, okay, if you want to this product, go into my, this and click on the link there and you can come to us and buy it. It's content. So people don't know you, but you can just start creating content that are free. In the watch of free, and as they are watching, what friends say, Oh, that's good, that drug is good. They go, Okay, this is where I sell it to, you can buy it. So, it's one of the ways. Social media marketing, you can actually go and open social media clients, then tell Facebook that Facebook, please, that many people see my brand for me, you can pay Facebook to do that for you. The reason is that Facebook, that what we call profiling, or what we call profile every human being that's on their platform. So, there's something on Facebook called activity log. Activity log means that everything you do on social media. Facebook aggregates all of them and then put into their into the algorithm to analyze who you are. So for example, if Facebook say if you want to sell something like wrist watches, and you actually go through all the demographic and the people you are targeting, Facebook can actually get, show that thing to people that will buy for you. Because Facebook know everybody, they know you for being on their platform for maybe two years or one year or something. And that is what you can do. Now, if you want to go to the next stage, which is so let me let me skip them. The consideration stage. You also look at email marketing because at awareness stage you can tell you whose email addresses and send them emails and stuff like that. And then you display. And then the when people buy, you help them to understand that it's important by using social media and all of that. So that will talk about in detail when it comes to the session. So let me take a bit of your time and then talk about something else about Google. Now, you know that Google, when you come to all the search engine platforms, Google is number one because Google, everybody that goes to the internet to search for anything, 92% of people are using Google platform to search for anything. Bing is having only 2%, Yahoo is having 1.6, 0 0.9 for Bidu, and then Yahoo is having 0 0.4. So they, 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 they don't matter. They don't matter. The most important person that in this game is Google. Now, what is Google saying? Google is saying that for me to put you on page one, which is your ultimate goal as a business person, every business in the world wants to be on the first page of Google on a keyword. So what must you do? What must you do? So you have to do a number of things. Number one thing you can do is that you can do what you call, um, you can analyze and, 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 and see that there are a number of things you can do, but before you can also do it, you have to understand that many people are competing with your brand and all of that. So let me skip this one. These are the dynamics of, uh, of how they search anyway. But let's go. So there are two main things you can do. We can do what we call the on page SEO, and then we have the off page SEO. So let me explain the on page. On page means that the website that you create, the other that we have created, there are things we have to do on the website that will make Google rank us in their first pages. Okay, that's the thing we show. So how the website will look, the thing that we will do about the website will help Google to rank us. Number two, then the second thing is that, the thing that will happen on other people's website, that will have a link to our website, what we call all page SEO, that will also be a factor that Google will use to rank you. I hope you understand it. So let's look at, on page SEO. So before we even go to on, on page SEO, what happened when you actually design a website, you have to first of all submit the website to Google. Okay, submit the website to Google. So you go, you submit the website to Google by doing what we call uh, business, business.google.com. And then you can come to this portal and then sign up and submit your business to Google here. So you can come and put your business name 
and on, you follow the process and go on and then you submit your company to Google. Yeah, Google, me too, I'm a company selling this one. So whenever you are calling people, remember me. You have to do that first. Okay? The second thing also is that you have to do what you call local listing. Local listing is that uh, anytime you search for anything on Google, um, let me search anything like food delivery in Accra, food delivery service in Ghana. Google will give me this thing here called local, local listing. So you see that they actually list Jumia food and all of that. And this thing is very easy. You can just enter. <laughs> you can just enter. So when, and if you enter here, you can be click. Because most of people now, most of the things you do, they will do the local lesson. And local lesson is free. So you can just go in there and go and, tell, go and put your company there that I am called um, GH Clothing or uh, 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 Ice Kinky for All or something. Then you put it there. <laughs> and then you describe what you do and do the keyword analysis and all that. So I'll show you how to do the keyword and stuff. And then Google will rank you. You may be surprised that if you do this content for one month, you can appear here as a company. And if you appear here, it's a good business for you. Company, people will call you, clients, you, you, and you're not paying anything. Okay, it's free. All right, so let's go to the... the <laughs> okay, so let's go to the on pages here. So on page means that what should you do on your website that will make Google have interest in the site? Number one thing is that you have to use correct keywords. Keywords means that you should think for the person coming to search for your business. What will you write in the search console to search for you? So, for example, I'm selling dresses. I'm selling ladies' bag. Those who are looking for ladies' bag to buy, what would they search for in Google? Would they go and say bags? If you say bags, I can't run because that would be too much of a competition for me to contain, right? But I to be able to go into their mind and then think about how they will think. And that's the difference, what we call the keyword research. Keyword research. So let me look at the first thing you can actually do with keyword You can go to google.com first, and then you start type, for example, me, I'm selling bags. So I'll say ladies, ladies bags. The moment I say that, you realize that Google has actually given me a lot of options. You say that, ladies' bags, ladies' bags for sale in Ghana, ladies' bags for, ladies' bags, and she went to that everybody was actually searching for bags, who's searching for shoes. Uh, ladies' backpack, ladies' bag, bag, ladies' bag 2020, ladies' bag on Jumia, ladies' bag for, for wholesale. So this actually gave me an idea that these are key where people are searching for bags in Ghana. Are looking for so then when I'm actually describing the things on my website, I ask Michelle some of these words are captured there. I hope they are friends. You understand, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's number one. Number two for your keyword research is that you can still go to a place like Amazon.com. Okay, Amazon.com, and then do the same thing there. Amazon, for example, can give you. Um, just search for all, and then maybe you can say ladies bags. The same thing happens, and Amazon might be, will give you more detail, like ladies uh, bags, uh, ladies bags. As I do that, Amazon starts actually giving me a lot of options. Ladies bag for women on sale clearance, ladies bag. So that's also give you a lot of keywords. Okay. The third thing you can also do is that you can also go to what we call Google. Keywords, keyword plan. Okay, yeah. So Google Keyword that's what one of the amazing platforms. You can also, it's also free. Okay, so when you go there, you can just go to Google AdWords uh, to go to Keyword Planner, and then you can have something like a quarter like this. It's it's very 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 exciting. Google products are very good. Google products are very good. If you don't see it here, you can just click. Come to, um, come, let me click on this. Sorry, let me, let me do this. Okay, so, so when you come here, you can just come and then put your keywords in there. All right, so let's assume that I'm actually going to put, you can put about 10, 
10 keywords here. Okay, so when I'm selling, I can say bags, and then I put comma there, and I can put uh, um, ladies' bags, okay, and I put, sorry, ladies' bags, and I put comma there, and oh, no, 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 I can put, so any, anywhere that will come into your right, the bottom of the section, and then you just, just type this, you enter. Hello, please. Sorry, I'm coming. Please, can you move back a little bit to uh, where we were searching for the ladies back in the in, in the Google search engine? Okay, so this is what I did. Google. Okay, thank you. Bags. Okay, ladies back. Okay, then I saw all this suggestions that are given to my Google. First stop. What is that? If you come to ladies back in Ghana. The first top 10 people, first, like if you look at all those who have actually searched for the bags, 10 top of them, those who search plenty of times, they search for ladies' bags, ladies' bags and shoes. And that's the thing that they were searching for. So if you're actually doing a ladies' bag, even on tonaton.com and you want to be ranked by, you have to look at this word to describe it. You need to write your description. You didn't just start writing anything. That, we are too lazy in our description. Okay, that's why we are not wrong. Because let me show you something. If you go to Google and then you do um, um, google.com and you search for anything like maybe cleaning uh, cleaning companies in Ghana, cleaning services, and Google rank a company. If you look at a company that they are ranked, this is called a meta description. Meta description. What is that? The company was actually using the keyword to describe who they are, they are ranked. So if you wrote in your in the search that you are looking for cleaning service, but they are saying that commercial cleaning, you can see cleaning there. You see cleaning, 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 running through all the things they are doing. So they know that cleaning is a key thing we will look for. So they miss that cleaning play more role in their description. And now they're going to call the meta description. If you look at their website itself, it has cleaning on it has their website. And that's what we have to also do. That when you're actually doing something about your business, your URL itself should contain an element, the, the main thing you are selling. If you are doing clean, say clean, if you are doing things like that, whatever you are doing, you have to put it inside the URL. It's important because that's what we have put it around. It's a lot of work. And if you, if you get comfortable with it, it can easily uh, do very well. All right? So let's go to the Google Keyword Planner. So you can use the Google Keyword Planner to uh, Keyword Planner to uh, to search for. Where are you? Okay. So you can use the Keyword Planner to search for anywhere that you think that it will work. It will work for you um, for your business. So let's look at this one. So I have this one. Okay, let me take this one. Okay. Okay. Please, are you there? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. So I'll, I'll keep adding bags. Now the bags go with shoes, right? Yes, and all of that. So once you're actually doing this, you will have a lot of a lot of suggestions that will be coming to you. Okay, so you will be told to how to go through what will happen there in the header. What do you have to do? What description are you going to give to the header? And all that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, please let me let me sign to another thing. Sorry. Okay. 
Okay, so when you come to the tools, I was doing something on the Google uh, uh, SEM, that's why. So when I come here, I will see something here like, you come here, you see the Google Planner. So let me show you how we did it. So we, get, we came to the tools and settings, and then we had the keyword planner. When you click on the keyword planner, it's open this for you. And then you have discover new words. So I come here and I, I said, take the, my ladies back. I'm just going with my ladies back. Okay. And then when I go to my, I want to just get the results. Now, what they will tell me is that for ladies back, I can have a number of them between 100,000 to 110,000 every, every month are searching um, ladies bag and what are other ladies those people are also searching for ladies pairs ladies handbag so the way they are using the handbag this handbag ladies they people are searching for ladies bag with price men pairs so although you think it's a ladies bag but you have to look at all the ways that people are using to search and google analytics give you a lot of a lot of other things people are actually looking at. I don't know why Jumia is becoming a very big issue in Ghana Everybody talking about Jumia ladies bags and stuff like that. Uh, Jumia, so they can give you as many, many, many words that you can actually play along in your description. Now, if you come here, so we have a competition. Okay, the competition is that, um, if you look at here, the competition that we are having, your competition is a bit low, 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 and the index that we have about six websites and stuff, who are doing we are doing all this. So the, 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 this one, we have to take our time and talk about organic position and stuff. We have to discuss it another, another time. So these are how the thing you can actually get. And this one gives you an idea of how you can put your website even together and the kind of way you have to use predominantly on the website. That will help you to run. The issue is that you can have a good product online that nobody is actually buying. Not because it's a bad product. You don't know how to get people to see those products. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. So that is that. So um, I will skip through the rest quickly. Uh, the key words, the internal links. Internal links means that when you have a, a test that you ha you are actually running, what you have to do is that you have to make sure that there's a there's a link to the website. So somebody read page one, and then you get the person is citing something to actually uh, click and go to page two and page three, and so they can stay longer on your website. The, the title, the meta description, the title tag, they should be rich. So I told you, you can go to local business. You can go and list it there. You can go and list your business at local business. So uh, let me pause at this stage, allow you to ask questions, and then maybe other things will come up for me to. Uh, let me mute all of you, then those who have questions can come, raise your hands, and let me open it. So if you have a question, let me see you, then let's start for this. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. So ask your question. And then if you can't ask the question, you can write it in the, in the chat. Okay, I will respond to you. Uh, tell me, I need your personal number so that I, I, I could come, I could come okay. over and then. Okay, so don't go. Don't go. I will share my numbers and other programs with that. Okay, so don't go. Just wait. Okay, any other question? Okay. okay, somebody's asking what the video to be shared. The slide it to be shared by Monday. Lady uh, Juanita will share it for all of you. Please ask questions. If you have a question, ask them before I go. But hello, hello sir. I'm hello, sir. sir. I wanted to ask, um, share of the video, would you need our email address or how to No, I'll, I'll upload it on YouTube and I'll send a link to you so they can watch it or I'll download it from there. But then you don't have my number, please. So how can you send the link? We have everybody's email address. Uh, send we have an email address. Okay, I have an email, so I'll send you the email. Yeah, I said that. Uh, if you registered, we have your email address. Don't worry, we'll send it. All right, okay. Uh, so if you register so with that link that we send around, you, you, we have an email, so we'll send it to you. All right. Hello. All right. All right. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so, Hello, okay, so somebody is saying that what is conversion optimization? Okay, so let me ask. Okay, let me. Okay, this one says, whoever has a question, that's the person. This one is so I can wait for it. So, um, ask your question, please. Uh, uh, please, um, when do we expect the next seminar? Okay, so I'll, I'll come when to the next seminar. Okay, I'll come to it. I'll come to it. I'll, I'll talk about it at a later part of the session. Um, 
I need more trainers and training on the other. This is a new project. Yeah, Mrs. Come, 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 sir. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening, sir. Okay. Um, please do have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I will share it with you. Okay. When I put the video there, I will share the channel to you so you can go and watch it. Okay, please. Thank you. Welcome. And then somebody's asking that uh, what is the meaning of uh, conversion optimization? And I'm saying that conversion optimization. Basically, talk about, and I use a very simple example that you are in church. And they say, Who is a convert? A convert is someone who has come to believe that Jesus Christ died for us and all of that. We are a convert. Now, if we also have business, who is a convert to you? So you, you decide who becomes a convert. So, for example, I can say that a person is a, my convert when he goes to my website and fill my contact form and submit to me. That's my convert. So that becomes the that I will give you to the Google Analytics that when somebody send me a mail in, on my website, then the person has been converted, it comes to that conversion number one. Or I can just say that there's a, there's a book I'm selling. If you download the book and you pay a conversion, a, a, a convert, then the algorithm would just say that the person downloaded the book, so you have another convert. convert, convert. Then what is optimi optimization? That all the things that you are doing to make the people are actually doing the things that will make them convert to you. So if you want people to uh, download, download certain books that will make them a convert, then when they enter the website, there should be a pop up that will say that there is a free book or there is an interesting way you can actually, and then they will see it. Well, they will click it and go and go there and then do that and, and download this thing away. So there are a lot of things you can do on the website that will make sure. You are having people doing the thing you want them to do. When somebody will enter your website, you have the power to decide what they will do and what they will not do if you're very intelligent. And that is why Google algorithm, uh, the Google Analytics help you a lot in getting to know what people are doing. So once you see the behavior of people, then you can actually trick your website to actually um, convert most of them to stay longer and to do the things you want them to do. Okay, so somebody said, I need more tutorials in this. Okay, I'll talk about how you can get more tutorials on that. And somebody is saying that, please, how can I get the video? We'll put it on YouTube, and then uh, you can download it. OK. And somebody is saying that, um, uh, la, 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 la. can you please take us through how to do the local lesson? OK, so that's OK. Let me do an example. So the local lesson. Let me take one, like in Ghana, we have one local, local company called Yellow Pages. OK? So you go to Yellow Pages, Ghana. It's one of the local lesson platforms. What does it mean that? If somebody search for something and Google is looking everywhere, they can't find the thing they, they're really looking for. They will go into the local, they will go to places like businessghana.com, Ghana. They will go to Yellow Pages, My Joy Business. They will go to the PCFM portal. They will go to all the local lessons. We have them. So it comes to local lessons. And this, um, what do you call it? Um, yellowpages.com. When you come to the local, local Yellow Pages, you can sign up. Okay? And then get listed. You see the girl listed here. Get listed. You put your company here. So me, my company is called Ramses. And when I put Ramses there, because I'm listed already, Ramses will pop up. My company is here already. OK? But if your company is not here, it will not pop up. Then you can go ahead and list that company. When you put it here and it's not there, you can list it and put it here. You can go to a friend like uh, businessghana.com. Business Ghana. Sorry. Sorry, wait a minute. Business Ghana. Businessgana.com. When you come here, you have this beautiful website here. You can come and actually add your platform here. You can do. Uh, you can join their list and classified document, or you can join their directory. Okay, or come and put yourself inside a directory. And all of them give you opportunity to describe who you are. And that's why I'm saying that before you start this thing, you have to do a keyword research. You can look at the thing that people are looking for, and it will come for you. And you see that if you come here, like if you look at those who are doing agriculture, and you open. More than companies in Ghana that are doing agriculture, they are here. They have their products here. And then if you come in, inside that one, you see all the companies that are here. This thing is free. You can just come here and add your company inside. Add your company. I add my company here. And then just say, I'm adding. Then come and log in. And then when you are logging, you can just add your company into it. You can look at maybe my joy market. 
my joy market. Um, I don't know what they are stored there. Also, I, so a number of them, plenty of them are in Ghana. So you can list them, and then later you can actually take your time and do the business. Okay, dot google.com. That's Google's own. Google's own. So this I come and sign in here. I don't want to go through because it will also list me again. So I'll put a company like GH, uh, GH uh, Clothing. Okay, here, yeah. and then I, I create a business. And then I go through. So you can go through step by step like this, and then you fill it. I don't want to do it because then it will register me. I don't want it. So um, you go through step by step. It will go to the end. It, it takes your email address. It takes your uh, password. Uh, your email address. It takes your phone numbers, your website, if you have a website, everything. Then when somebody search for you on, for anything on, the, on Google and it's like within the service you are providing, then you can be listed as, uh, sorry, uh, maybe you are looking at, maybe you are in real estate. Okay, you are into real estate in Ghana. Okay, somebody go and search for this. Then Google will actually put you inside this. Okay, when you do this, this thing here, Google can give you this opportunity to be listed inside the Google, um, what do you call it, listing, local listing. Do you understand it? And they will actually help you to get a map and all of that. The map thing, if you don't have a, comp if you don't have a place that you have uh, your signboard on the wall, they won't allow you. Okay, so if you, but they will list you still, but they won't allow you to, they won't place you on the map. For example, our company, if you, if you just go on Google Map and say Ramses, if, 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 for that solution, that, that map will bring you here. Because we are, we are, we are, we are taking up Google, we are in the Google local listing, and then we have the signboard on our wall. So that's that's taking us, and we are there. So if you have, you don't have a signboard, you can just do an online business, and then still you can be listed. Are we good? Are we good? Uh, that's good. Yes, please. Okay, okay. So let me talk about what I, um, another thing. Um, so the rest of the things, I think that I need to get you to be ready because they are a bit. Uh, you have to do hands on. Like I want to see you doing it, and then I see where you are getting it. Okay, that will that will help me too. Yeah, let me tell you a bit about offline. Offline means that if you have a website, somebody should actually give you. A opportunity to for you to become an authority. So people should access your website from other people's website. So how do you do that? You can actually have ask a friend who has a website that uh, governor, let me put a banner on your site. Come and put a banner on my site. It's good. So you can have a lot of friends. They will come and put their banner about your product on your website. You will put your banner on their website because there will be a cross a cross linkage. So they, somebody will click your website or their platform, and they will come to your website, and then somebody will click from your website, and it will go there. That alone makes your website get rank. That is why, if you if, if you if you observe, you realize that companies like my job online has a lot of they will they will rank because so many web people are coming from different different websites, and they are putting their brand on my job online, and they are clicking through from my job online. So that's one of the that's that's the offline off 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 um, off page SEO. So you get it from other platform. Um, okay, so I guess I will want to pause here and then talk about what I want to do next. Okay. Um, hello. If you don't have any question, can I go on say? Uh, hello. Can I go on say? Hello. Yeah, I'm listening, sir. Uh, please, I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Sine, I'm listening. Ah, uh, please, is there any payment method? I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Is there any payment methods? I'm coming to that. Okay. Is there any payment methods? Yeah, I know, I know. Give me a minute. I'll, I'll come to that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody is asking a question. Uh, but please, did you get a question? I get you, I get you. I got it. I'll respond. I'll respond, okay? Hello? Okay, so I've put, okay. So the, the, somebody is asking a question. Okay, so somebody is asking a question that, um, how do you build a landing page? <laughs> okay. What is the difference between organic listing and page listing? Okay, that's Hello. it. <laughs> Can you hear me? 
So I'm saying I'll answer your question, okay? Don't worry, I'll answer your question. I, I got you. I got you. So somebody asked me a question. What is a land a good what is a good landing page? A good landing page is a page that will make somebody stay longer than uh, stay longer and go and help the uh, that page will help your website uh, the person to see other pages on the website. Okay, so let's assume that you came to no matter when you come to what's website, you come to what we call a home page. A home page is from a landing page. Because if I'm selling my courses, I can actually look at ramsayga.com forward slash courses. So I don't want you to come to my landing page. I want you to go straight to the, where the courses are. So I can actually, I'll be selling a product and then I have different, different styles of products. I don't, I don't need to get people to go through page one before they come and see the dresses. If the dresses are at where the dresses are, just put the URL of the, where the dresses are and let the person, so when the person click and come to the site, the first thing they come to is where the dresses are first. And if you now, that's what made the people stay longer on your website, put that one out. It's not, it's not composed, always you have to put the video, video, so, .com. No, it's not always composed. You can put your landing page, your best part of your website can be put out there first. So that somebody can click and come to that place first. The second thing is organic listing and page listing. I know you're thinking about paid listing. Organic listing and paid listing. Organic listing is all the listing that are not paid for. That we call the SEO. That's why you do the, you get organic listing. So once you are actually listed without payment, you are doing organic listing or what we call free listing. When you are doing a paid listing, listing you are actually paying Google to rank you number one, and you pay, uh, and that means that means that you have to go through a process to pay Google some dollars to do that for you. Please. Can you send us the slide? Yes, I will do that. And then, uh, can I see other questions? Okay, I, I, I will send a slide. Uh, do you have build a local landing? Okay. okay, how do you build the local landing pages? Okay, I'll, I'll answer that question. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for your blessings. Okay, so um, let me look at any questions. Somebody has raised his hand. Who, who, who is that? Uh, Mr. Abdullah Mohammed. Mr. Abdullah. Abdullah Mohammed. Um, uh -huh. Please, um, I, I, I've not heard anything about the next session. Okay, so I'm coming there. I'm coming there. So let's go. Okay, please. Uh, give me five minutes. Let, let's finish this one. Okay, five minutes. Uh, Eric, come. Eric, do you have a question? Okay, so let's go. So I'm going to run a digital uh, marketing class. It's a master class. I call it a digital marketing master class. That will look at all the things we have talked about. We have actually dealt with only two things. We have talked about search engine optimization, and then we have done a bit of analytics. These are very one of the things that we have not even gone into the practicality of them. Okay, so we want to do a training for you on that. And then what will you learn at the training? We are looking at digital marketing versus traditional marketing. We are looking at website planning processes. We are going to look at search engine optimization, search engine marketing. We are looking at Google Analytics into details. We are looking at Google AdWords, online display adverts. We look at email marketing, huge email marketing, very important. We are going to look at content marketing. We are going to look at, sorry. We are going to look at content marketing. We are going to look at mobile marketing and then a number of them. Now, when we, we, when, we, when, when we come for the training, we'll look at this courses, okay? And if you look at a course Alan I have here, I have a number of things that I want to talk about and actually take you through the practical uh, analytics, email marketing, content, blogging, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is very huge, it's very powerful. You can use it as a company, and you can use it to make money when you are, you are also blogging, okay? And then details of that, we are looking at, if you look at uh, search engine optimization, we are looking at a number of things. Okay, these are all the things we look at, a lot, it's plenty. And this thing will make you a master of digital marketing. You can actually, actually start your own digital marketing agency and help other companies to manage, and you can start your own business. It's very simple, I have a laptop, and all the tools are here. Most of the tools I'm going to use to do this, well, they are free. 
what you need is the knowledge, not only how to use them, how you're able to navigate your way through and get people. Uh, and then we have local lessons. We talk about local lessons, local SEOs. Uh, we talk about social media marketing. And then these are the things we talk about social media marketing. We look at Google Analytics in details. Uh, we we'll go through um, Google AdWords. Google AdWords, what we do to get SEM, okay, that online display. Uh, we we'll look at Google Assets. How can you make money from Google? Uh, YouTube ads. We we'll do all others. So we are going to look at how to do YouTube marketing, how to do email marketing, and all of that. These are the things that we are going to go to. This is the course online. It's about a 30 hour training. We are going to do 30 hours. And the training is done for three weeks. So this is how we're going to be done. We have the training that will be run for three weeks. Okay. And every week we are doing 10 hours. So we have the first session that will be in the one session will be in the evening. It will be an evening session. We meet only on Saturdays and Sundays. And then we'll have um, uh, from Saturdays, we have from 9 a.m. to 3. We are having six hours on Saturdays. Sunday, we have 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. But uh, this uh, then Sunday one will be adjusted when we start the meeting. And then we have three weekends for the whole program, just three weeks. You can just pack it three weeks of your time. Come and get all this knowledge and go and actually start your own business or go and manage your own company. The training is starting on the 23rd of May. Saturday coming next, the 23rd of May. And the price is 550 Ghana cities for the entire program. Now, what you enjoy is that we are going to have um, those who will register for the session for, uh, before this date, 17th May, okay, will have 20% discount. If you're able to have a friend to register with you, you can enjoy 10% discount extra. We have weekdays classes. Weekdays will allow you to come from Monday to Friday, two hours each evening from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for the whole week, Monday to Friday for three weeks. The same time, it starts on 25th of May. If you register before that time, you still have the same discount for, um, for 20%. That would mean that you're going to be about 480 in cities. If you have a friend to join, you are just going to pay, uh, you have another 10% discount. All right. Now, for this particular training, those who attended, if you want a certificate of participation or certificate of completion, you can have, you will send a certificate like this. Okay. Please, are you there? MFRPL. Yes, please. We are here. We are listening and enjoying it. Okay. MFRPL, your background is noisy. Can you mute your platform? Okay. And so this is. A certificate we will send to you on fundamental digital marketing. It's a certificate that will be given to everybody that is interested. You have to just call a lady called Anita on this line. So you can pick a number and then talk to her that you, you attend a seminar online and you want a certificate. And it's 10 cities. You can get, she will send you the short copy on Monday and then she will, you will, you will be allowed to pick a hard copy anytime you are free to pass by the office and pick it up. Our training center is at Chaba, near Malam Market, in Accra. Uh, by July 1st, we are having a branch in Tema, Community 18. But when it's come, we will actually communicate it to you. But now, the center is running here at Chaba, near Malam Market. That's where the center is. So you can actually ask Anita to give you uh, the detail, the, how, what to go through to get your certificate. It's 10 Ghana CD for the certificate. They will send you the soft copy. You can come for the hard copy later, just for the 10 series. Those who want to be part of the session can just talk to Anita. They can talk to Anita about the session. Anita will direct you as to what you can do. But if you register before the 17th, you have 20% discount out of the 550 Ghana series. And I think you have to take advantage of this because our training is very practical. We do, you will see a lot of things that you don't know. And we are a digital marketing agency as well. So we actually work for a lot of companies. We support their businesses. And we have a lot of experience to share with you. So join us, it's not going to be theory, it's going to be very practical, as you saw it today. And that's about it. Any more questions before I sign off for? Yes, please. I uh, wanted to ask, um, how can you make money from your website or your blog? Okay, a number of ways. Okay, so we have about more than 20 ways of making money. Okay, okay. So more than 20 ways of making money. The, the, one of the ways, okay, you look at the question. Wait, let me, let me, let me answer this one. 
So um, you can make money. The question you ask yourself is that anytime a website has traffic, that is a good mine. Okay. So if you look at Tonaton.com, Tonaton.com came initially came and said that you can put your stuff on the internet and then you can buy it for free. And Tonaton wasn't making any money from anybody. It's not that they're actually trying to do the boosting and stuff like that. But initially it was free. The idea was simple. Once you have more people on the platform, you can actually use them on your platform and talk to MTN, talk to other friends and tell them, I have 50 times people on my platform. Come and put a banner ad on my platform and pay me. And my company was doing that with Major Online. We pay, we put a banner out of Major Online and we are paying $800 every month. $800 every month. That was close to 8,000 Ghana cities. Uh, sorry, 1,800, sorry, 1,800 Ghana cities every month. At a time, we're paying close to 8,000 Ghana cities, excluding VAT. And that is how much we were paying Major because Major Online is having about 3 million visitors every, every 24 hours. So we were happy to put our banner there. So once you have more people, people will be happy to put their banner out on your product. That's number one. Number two, now you can also do affiliate marketing. You can actually sign up to an Amazon affiliate program where Amazon will actually advertise their services on your portal. People click and go to Amazon. And when they buy the product, Amazon will give you between 10 and 50% of the amount they will pay to Amazon through their program. So a number of things. You can also use the platform to also sell your own product to the people that are using your platform. So you can sell. If somebody can say, okay, tell me, you can have the person to sell it on a platform and then you can share whatever you have. So there are a number of ways. The best thing is that, how do you get the people <laughs> to come? How to make money on a website is not a problem, but the biggest challenge is, because while people are there, making money is not a problem at all. It's very simple thing, okay? It's, it's, they're getting the traffic there, the skill that you need to build, and you have to get a lot of pictures to do that. That's the first answer. Um, I guess I can answer the other questions from the portal. Okay, so so those in the Gambia, just chat me online. I will get an online version of the training for you. Like I will do like what I'm doing now, but we have a proper session for you. Uh, if you can get a guarantee that you can have a better internet connectivity for we can run it for you. Unless otherwise, then you have to wait for me to come to Gambia next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll be there next year. Go. Uh, so, yeah, so I will do the online session for you. So let's chat more on the platform as well. Um, um, okay, any, more, any, more questions? any more questions? Then yes. I will. Yes, I wanted to ask with the digital and uh, other courses that you run, do you have an online version just like you're doing? But what okay, do sorry, I sorry, pay? Sorry. That's, okay, so, so Gambia, you are telling me, so I'm coming what? You are telling me, okay, the payment terms. Okay, let's chat. I will talk about it. Okay, I'll talk about it. Okay, Sina, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, yes, I was asking, supposing I register, and mm -hmm. right now I'm in Chema, actually. And mm -hmm. the last time I came there, they said yes, June one you'll be opening at community eighteen, just as yeah. you mentioned. Yeah. But supposing I can't be coming there on weekends or any other day, can I pay and probably have an online course just yeah, as we can do online. We can do online now. for you if you want online. You can do the online. But the issue is that when I'm doing online with you, I will I will give you a software that will help me to even monitor your screen and what you are doing on here. Okay, so that one can be done. I can monitor your screen. I can see what you are doing on your screen. Because what I'm, do, what I'm doing now is because it's a, it's a mass training, I can't monitor every student and what you are doing. Most of you are not even following it. But if it's, a, it's an online training where we are doing one-on-one, -on -one, I can just take your screen and then see what you are doing on your screen. And then I'll monitor it. So we can still do it online. I get if, it. If, if you can come. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. Yeah, hello. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh -huh, go ahead. The follow up to the uh, the follow up to the Tema question. I okay. also live in Tema. My office is in Tema. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that more uh, yeah. Can't you push the date for the training a little bit forward in terms of the you? So, so what we can do is that what you can do is that just give us and uh, pay your money and secure the slot, and then we can actually arrange for you. So you can just come and make the commitment. Maybe pay like hundred Ghana for the commitment, and then make sure you are blocked. Because we should be able to be, because we can even come and open the place and start running. Because this, yeah, we have not actually finished the finishing. That's why we are not there. But if you want us, even we can, we can even run a train there today. You get it? But if we don't have a commitment, you get it? So if you commit, it will help us also get a day to go and do it. So don't worry. You can just make the commitment. We want to do it. 
pay the first hundred Ghana, and then you get a twenty percent discount. And we can go on to that do it for you there. Okay. Are you good? Okay. That's okay. If you can put a Momo account so that we can do the payment to. That's what I'm saying. I talk to Anita. Anita will. Anita has the, that account in Momo. Everything. So we want to talk to Anita. Anita will take care of that. Okay. 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 So please, Anita's number. I'm, I'm putting Anita's number there again. This is the Anita. Anita. Anita's number. Uh, Sorry, I'll leave this one on the screen for you to pick it, and then um, yeah. So this is her number, Anita. So zero five four five three four. Uh, that order. Let me even make it red so they can see it. Okay, so that's Anita's number. All right. So please um, um, talk to her, and then let her. She she will assist you in any way you want. Okay, anything. You want. And then I want okay. to answer this question. One minute, I want to answer this question. Uh, somebody saying that, <laughs> uh, please, I want to know whether the critical marketing class will be online or we need to have, okay, we have we have online version of the training and we have the offline. So you can come to the center if you don't want, if you are not happy with the online, you can come here and run it for you. We observe all the social distancing protocol, we, have, we use the marks, everything. So don't have problems with it. Don't worry. Yeah, so so we can still do the online stuff for you, okay, if you want the online. And I said, what, what of those who are not unable to join any other opportunity to, to learn? You're not able to join us in what? Like you can't, you can join either online or offline. Okay, any of them. Okay, Mr. Mr. Ann, I, I, okay, I, I think your question is answered, right? I don't know. And then when I pay the 10 CD to Anita, how can I get the copy? Okay, so when you pay the 10 CD to Anita, Anita will send you a soft copy by Monday morning. When you talk, she will talk to you. And then the hard copy will be printed and to be in the office for you. So that anytime you are available, you can pass them and pick it up. Okay, so you talk to Anita, she will assist you on that. And then how about your own number? Okay, I'll give my number to you after. And then can, can the Saturday class be in the evening? Yes, it's possible. So just talk to me. Let's, Let's see about that one. And how much is the cost for the online digital marketing? Okay, it's 500, uh, the online, yeah, so online, we give about 20% discount further for that because you are going to buy data. So those who want online, please chat with me at the back end. Chat on the platform on WhatsApp. I mean, the particular marketer is that? I mean this particular marketer. Okay, so if you can't join this particular one, you can join the next session, all right? There are other programs we run, so just connect with me. Let's have interactions on that one. I want to wait for the Gambia next year. <laughs> okay, Mr. Han, I'll do that. I'll come to Gambia next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, okay, Mr. Mr. I, I, you mean you mean I wait for you in the Gambia next year? Or, okay, no, I'm saying that you have a, you have the option to do that thing online, so we can chat with you for you to do it online, or. You can wait for me to come to Ghana for two weeks and I'll do it for you there when I can. I was supposed to come there this year, but because of COVID, I can't come. And then number then another said, please, does it mean that we can print the soft copy? No, you can't print. Come to the office because we will, we will validate the certificate with our seal. The soft, the hard copy will be sealed. So we'll send you the soft copy in your mail, and you can come for the sealed and validated certificate. All right? So you can come for it here. But if your print is okay, but that will not be there. You can come for the printer copy from us, and that one will be validated and sealed. And then twenty percent discount on fifty-five, twenty percent discount on five hundred and fifty Ghana CD. Yes, twenty percent discount five hundred and fifty Ghana CD if you register before that time. Um, and then I will give you my number. This is my number. My private number is zero two four four zero three six five two. That's my number. So if you want that number, you can pick it up and then call me or send me WhatsApp. But I enjoy WhatsApp a lot. Uh, I can have my time to respond to it. If you want to call to, you can call and visit me in the office if you want to. If you want any private business you want to discuss, you can come to me, we can talk about it, all right? And then, okay, 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 thank you, thank you. So thank you very much for your time. It's been awesome. But if you enjoy the class, just say, just give a thumb up to us. Just go to the, and then give us a thumb Hello. up. Uh, there's a thumb up there. Hello. Yes, boss. Please, your number again. 
zero two four four. It's on the screen. Can you see on the screen? Oh, okay. Yeah, zero two four four zero three three two. Thank you. Uh -huh. And then I can see some chat here. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so thank you for your company. You've been you've been very exciting uh, uh, class. I enjoyed you. So uh, we'll meet again. Those of you who come for the class, we'll meet again. Have, have a deeper, deeper, deeper session together. All right, and expose to so many things in the digital marketing. Okay. So uh, I want to end the class. Have a nice day. Enjoy. Papa. No. Hello, please, please. You didn't mention when the next seminar is coming on. Seminar. Yeah, seminar like, in the next two weeks, but it won't be it won't be on digital marketing. It will be on something else. I like him, but probably yeah, but the the is that the seminar will be announced to everybody who has actually come for a seminar here before. They will send you SMS, we will send you uh email and everything. Yes, yes. I okay. think after my first seminar, I think I received something like that. Yeah, okay. so if there's seven like I'm they will send it to you. We have okay. one on okay. we have one on ethical hacking and counter measures, so they'll send it to you. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Please, are we done with the class? Yeah, we are done. We are done with the class. Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, boys. God bless you. So you talk later. Last one. All right, sir. Don't follow the line. <laughs> Everybody is a person of your business. That's how it is. So you don't know where you are now. But is it dance with me? This is the guy.